Hello my esteemed guests, my name is Cole and welcome to the Soothing Code that is Orgasis. Today we're playing Blood and Play and we know he a vampire now, right? <laughs> That's where we're at. Oh, he got the green eyes! Ah! Is that why his house is so green so he really pops? Is that the idea? Anyway, <laughs> let me load up. Let's, let's get started. I hope that, su that suffices as proof enough for you. It's quite tiring to use these powers, so I'd rather not expend unnecessary energy if I can avoid it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I don't know about Sassy, but I'm not, mad I'm not mad about it at all. If you're feeling overwhelmed at the moment, I might suggest that you retire for the night and rest. How do I know that you won't try anything funny on me while I'm asleep? You don't. <laughs> you don't, but it's like, girl, if you don't wanna be here, leave. It's, it's, it's just to that, it's just that simple. It's just that simple, just leave. The locks on these, on these door? The locks on these door work quite well. I don't know if you mean this door or these doors. I, I think you mean this door. The locks on this door are quite... Wait, the locks on this door work. Okay. The locks on this door work... Works. Such a verb agreement. Wait. <laughs> wait, let me break it down. The locks on this door work. The locks, the locks and work. I think that's the subject for agreement. The locks on this door work quite, quite well. Quite. <laughs> Pronounce the T. Quite. <laughs> work quite well, and I have no interest in damaging my own property. If I talk to someone in my room, would you hear me? The walls are relatively soundproof, so you'll have plenty of privacy. That's convenient, but I feel like he's missing one thing. I could just call a cab back to my apartment. There's nothing stopping me from turning my back and leaving right now forever. He knows that. We all know that, Santiago. <laughs> and I wouldn't stop you. You've always been free to say no tonight. There's, But there's a reason you're here right now of your own volition. Look at, look at the, the raised eyebrow, uh, the smugness. Please do get some rest tonight, Santiago. The guest bedroom will be down the hallway up to your left, and the bathroom is across from it. I'll see you when you're awake next. With that, Ma uh, Maticas. Maticas turns on his heel and walk away. Turns on his heel and mm, my tickets is singular subject verb. I think it should be walks. Matikas turns on his heel and walks away towards his walks away towards his own room. If I had to guess, or to his own room, if I had to guess. This guy, seriously. This music though. Go ahead. <laughs> I guess I'll take him up on that. I find a spare bedroom. Matikas was talking about it's pink or peach. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I find a spare bedroom. Matikas was talking about and lock the door behind me. Then look around the place as I slide my jacket and mask off. A desk, a nightstand, a few posters. It's, oh girl, <laughs> it's comfortably furnished with just enough personality to not feel empty, but not so much that it feels permanently lived in. Holy shit, is that a king size bed? <laughs> bro, bro, we're not gonna judge you. We're not gonna judge you, Santiago. <laughs> Shoot, I'll take that deal. I walk over and press down on the mattress to feel the material. It's plain cotton. And memory foam too? That's way too overkill for a guest bedroom. At least 
these aren't silk sheets. I know, right? Okay, Sir Java. I need your counsel. <laughs> I pull my trusted companion out from my pocket and hold him in my palm. I know you've been listening this entire time. I don't think either uh, either of us expected us to go uh, oh, expected us to go this way, but uh, here we are. Listen, I know already you don't have to lecture me, okay? Just like help me work through this mess. Dinner was nice. This place is nice. Latikas is not bad right now. And, you know, maybe he was right about the change in environment. We were both suffocating back at home. You don't even pay rent or wash the dishes or fold laundry. Ooh, ooh, and Java was like, neither do you. <laughs> I was like, bro, bro, you choosing violence. You can't keep using the I don't have thumbs excuse each time. Stop distracting me and be real right now, Java. Is it Java or Hava? I don't know. We're, we're going to be in hot water if we don't make plans fast. I set Java down on the nightstand and flop on the bed. Mm. Oh, a choice. Okay. <laughs> hold up. Hold, hold, hold. Good save. We're going to save, child. Return. A recap of the event so far, what we think of Matikas, the deal. We just did that. We just did that. That's the deal. That's that's the most present thing. Matikas is going to pay me for essentially the same thing. Getting jabbed with a very sharp and unpleasant thing, wow, and giving up my <laughs> giving up some of my blood or parts of it. Half a liter of blood every two weeks is the standard amount an adult human can donate without adverse effects to their health. So he's not being unreasonable with how much he's asking for. Did he ask for like less than a pint? Or did he just ask for like one pint? Half a liter. Oh, hmm. What I'm wondering is if that money's dirty uh, what I'm wondering is if that money's dirty I don't know where it's from that's, that's old money honey <laughs> it's that generational wealth he, he's he been through all the generations does it matter if the dirty's money oh wait <laughs> does it matter if the money's dirty Java I'm trying to do honest work here a fuck you, I've got my mentality is what got us into this predicament to begin with. Just ask him. I mean, okay, fine, I'll ask him tomorrow. And no, I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth, Java. Push comes to shove, I give him some blood once and then, and then that's it. Java, it's not that simple. The devil in the details will catch you if you don't keep an eye out for him. Hmm. I get it though. Because that's the deal. Since we're doing all three, we're going to recap. So, to recap, I got laid off today and I have three weeks of severance pay to find another job. I hate that. I hate how the severance pay is so little, but it's whatever let's keep going the plan was to do a few side gigs while hunting for a decent company unfortunately the closest blood plasma donation place is closed i can like just drive to another place but it sucks anyways that's the gist of the situation now this matika's guy he's got money to burn i'm pretty sure our meal didn't cost that much but he threw down several bills for the check and tip and walked off. And now he's offering me money for my blood because he's a vampire who needs to feed. Is it money or is it just like, you'll be taken care of? <laughs> but that could be part of the deal, but like, hmm. Are you with me so far, Java? 
I reach over to him on the table. That's good. And then he had his mask on. And then what we think of Matikas. You think Matikas is a good person. I think he's sus, man. Even if he hasn't forced me to do anything yet, that can change at any time. How do I know he won't ask for more than just my blood later on? This could be a blackmail attempt. This is this is also why like you you ask for money and not favors because at least with money, <laughs> you can start saving up. You know that that emergency your three to six months. You get your go bag together. You know like get it set up. <laughs> Did you fall asleep during our last movie marathon job? I don't want to be his thrall. Like, I like pretending I have freedom of choice. Girl, that last part, stop it. <laughs> yes, I think he's hot. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking about Kit. Java. Java, stay on topic. Seriously, Java, you're supposed to be on my side. It's like, when he's hot. Like, we're Java right now. It's like, oh, girl. Girl, fuck the world right now. I stare at the rubber duck in my hand, giving him one last gentle squeeze. I'm sorry if I sounded angry at you. I'm just tired of getting my hopes up all the time. Let's go to sleep, okay? I feel you, fam. I squeeze him one last time and lay down, pulling the blanket over my shoulders. Good night, Sir Java. I love you. Morning doves. I can hear a single car. I can't hear a single uh, car passing by. I used to make. I used to mistake the call of morning doves for weird owls who were up early in the morning, pretending to be roosters. But it's been so long since I last heard them. I woke up in a daze, rubbing the grogginess out of my eyes and adjusting to the unfamiliar room. Then I remember what happened last night. Right, Matikas invited me to his house, and then I give myself a light pat down. Nothing sore or unusual. In fact, I think I slept pretty well, all things considered. I grab, I grab my glasses off the nightstand and put them on. I forgot to shower and brush my teeth last night, though. My eyes rest on Java, watching guard over the bed. From where I left her last night. Imagine if Monty goes to show him, like, get him his 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 midnight snack. And Java is like, be gone, demon. <laughs> be gone from this mortal plane. <laughs> you would not have this soul tonight. <laughs> Morning, Java. I'm up. How are you feeling? I give him a short squeeze. Time to get social, huh? Uh, what's what's the game plan? You want me to play nice with him for now? Like, just talk about random stuff? I guess this is a good chance to ask him about vampire stuff. Like, what's real and what's fake? Ugh, whatever you say, bestie. <laughs> you better have my back, though. Bestie! <laughs> I flop out of bed and make my way to the door. Cracking it open a little... I am greeted with, I'm greeted by the smell of cooking. It smells like breakfast, girl. Thank you for playing version 0.07 of Blood and Play. This is where the game currently ends. If you liked what you played so far or have any feedback for us, please be sure to let us know. Thank you for making the game, first of all. Thank you for working on it. Probably just some grammatical issues that we saw, like the subject verb agreement here and there. But, this game has been great. Um, and that's right on time, too. Let me just click this. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Cole, and this has been Orgasis. If you enjoyed this uh, video, let me know by leaving a like, comment, share, and sub. If you enjoyed this game, you'd like to play it for yourself, you can do so via the link in a pinned comment. I like the game. 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. I will be rating it. <laughs> Um, keep doing, keep, keep doing such good work. Trans man, 
BIPOC, I love it, I adore it. I hope Latika's and Santiago can like work something out and hopefully hopefully Santiago can like get a job out of all this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he doesn't have to have that stress over him where it's like, oh, this person will end up being an authority figure and can probably could like control me or whatever or bite me and make me a thrall or whatever. I I hope there's a good ending. <laughs> That's all I hope. There's nothing leading to necessarily a bad ending, but that looming threat of like being kicked out is kind of it's just it's, it's real. It's real. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I believe that is all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video.